Bull Dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace Tutorial 2024. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you are going to go ahead and do some dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace in the easiest and most simplest way. Now, first of all, to start dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace, we actually need to understand what is dropshipping, what platforms are the best for your dropshipping, and how you are going to associate that with your Facebook and how you're going to create listings to outweigh the other marketers. Okay, so to start things off, let's talk about dropshipping. Now, dropshipping is basically a business, and it's a type of business where you sell products, but those products aren't yours. Okay, so basically you choose a supplier. And once you've chosen that supplier, you're going to take that supplier's products, and you're going to sell it to other people and you're going to make income out of it. So in Google's terms, we can see dropshipping is a form of retail business in which the seller, which is you accepts customer orders without keeping the stock on hand. Okay. And if I were to explain it better through images, here's what's going to happen. Okay. So first of all, there's going to be your store, which in our case is going to be the Facebook marketplace. And then you're going to have some supplier, which you're going to choose the products off of. OK, so let's say there's the supplier from, uh, let's say, Amazon. OK, so I'm going to take products off of Amazon. Let's say I have shoes from Amazon and I've taken them off of Amazon and I've portrayed them on my store. Now, once you do that, let's say someone is going to go ahead and uh, buy that product from my store okay what that will do is it will send a notification out to amazon that okay this product needs to be bought and the order will go straight to the um you know person who's bought it and the money obviously will go to amazon but you're going to make a big cut of out of it all right so that's basically drop shipping. So you're going to sell other people's products and make money off of it. So it's a great way of passive income. And it's a booming business nowadays because tons and tons of people do drop shipping and it works like a charm for them. OK, and that is what we're going to be doing for our Facebook. So to get more details about drop shipping, you can go to, uh, you know, uh, softwares like CJ Dropshipping, Spocket, Deezers. Uh, you have uh, all these types of dropshipping, you know, sellers that you can use. Now, obviously, there's the Facebook Marketplace, which is a great place to sell your products because a lot of people will go ahead and buy it from you. Now, first of all, over here, what you are going to want to do is, you know, understand the type of product that you're going to want to sell out. So for dropshipping, you sell out products which have a high yield of selling, but a low product outreach. So meaning if you go ahead and sell Nike shoes, now Nike shoes have a high yield and a high product reach because everyone probably sells Nike shoes on their drop shipping stores. But if you go with some lower picks, like uh, let's say, you know, Razor. Razor, although is a huge gaming company, but very less people, you know, sell it on drop shipping stores because the products are fragile. Now, obviously, if the products are fragile, people will be a bit, you know, shaky about selling it. So that's the type of outlook we want. Now, what we are going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, get, you know, the proper idea of it. You know, we're going to get the proper concept of how we're going to add listings. Now, to create a listing, you're going to come to your Facebook marketplace and come on the left hand side where it says create new listing and click on it. Now, once you click on it here, it's going to give you options like item for sale, vehicle for sale, property for sale. So I'm going to go with item, obviously. Now, once you go with item, it's going to load the marketplace settings in. So here we are. Now, to start things off, if you want to actually drop ship a product, first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to choose your platform. Now, obviously, you can go with CJ Dropshipping, connect it with your shop if I create a store over there, and then connect it with your Facebook Marketplace, or you can directly add your products to your Marketplace. So, obviously, as I stated, we have CJ Dropshipping, we have Spocket, and uh, we have Deezers. So, these are the top three, in my opinion. These three work amazingly, and I would definitely urge you to choose you know either three of these. Spocket, not so much, because Spocket only works through US and EU suppliers. If you have suppliers outside of these regions, then I would recommend Deezers or CJ. You can also use AliExpress for your dropshipping. I would personally recommend CJ Dropshipping because CJ Dropshipping has a robust variety of products 
and you can actually associate these products with the Facebook Marketplace pretty easily because these are most of the products that appear on the Facebook Marketplace. So to start things off, what you're going to want to do is first of all, you're going to choose the product. So let's say I'm going to go with this. Okay, so what is this? It's a portable projector. And, uh, you know, a portable projector rocks on the marketplace. And the reason for that is because a portable projector is something that tons and tons of people use. Now, you get a product video, you get product images, and a whole lot more. Now, Facebook only adds a one product photo. That's, you know, all it requires. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, take this product photo over here and open the image in new tab. And we're going to go ahead and save this image. Now, once you save this image, we're going to come over to our Facebook, go to add photos, and I'm going to add this image. Now, once this image is added, you can add up to 10 photos. So I would recommend, you know, going ahead and adding all these different photos that you have. I'm not going to add them right now, but you can add them later on if you want to. That totally depends on you and the type of uh, working and the type of you know stuff you want to go through. Now, once you've added the product media, what you're going to do is you're going to add the product title. So obviously this one's called portable projector. I'm going to just go ahead and add this because I'm not going to add a whole title that we have in the usual drop shipping, uh, you know, products. Then you have the price. So obviously you're going to add the price in your currency. So let's say in dollars, it is um, on CJ drop shipping. It's $4 to even $53. So I'm going to go ahead and round it off to $20. So I'm going to add 20 dollars if it's adding in my currency that should be around six thousand rupees now once we do that you're going to choose a category for the product this could be anything from um, you know your home and garden to a whole lot of other things so i'd say this product will come under electronics and computers and then you have condition whatever the condition is you're going to add it i'm going to go ahead with new because that's obviously what it is then you have the brand so whatever the brand for the product is, you're going to make sure to add that as well. Now, if you don't know the brand, don't worry. You can simply go ahead and add any, you know, uh, brand name from yourself. But mostly the brand will be given. So make sure to, uh, you know, check the descriptions of the product that they have given you. Now, in the case that the description isn't there, what you can do is... Uh, just go ahead and choose any, uh, you know, name. So Mac Cubic, I'm going to go ahead and add that Mac Cubic. We're going to add that over here. Then you're going to add its description. So for the description, I'm simply going to come over here and uh, I'm going to take all these descriptions, copy it. And once we copy it, I'm going to come to Facebook and I'm going to add the description. Now, once the description is added, then you have product tags. Now, tags matter a lot because tags are something that will actually give insight to your product. It will insinuate your product and it'll lead people to, you know, check your product out more. So make sure to add product tags like, uh, let's say, projector. Then you can go ahead and add AI, you know, um, entertainment. And you can add TV, Netflix, you know, all these things are accessible smart wi-fi you know add all these things once you do that you're going to choose the location where you're going to sell this in and once you've added the location then you have meetup preferences like public meetup you know where people are going to pick this up off so you know you drop off at buyer's door buyer picks up at your door or it could be a public meetup whatever you want now if it's drop shipping obviously door drop off will make more sense you can also turn on boost listing after it's published and once you do all of that simply click on next and here it's going to tell you the marketplaces. So obviously I'm going to list it publicly in the Facebook marketplace. And finally, once we have gone through all of that, we're going to easily go ahead and publish this. Now, once you publish this, you're just going to let it, you know, sink in and load up. And uh, once the uh, loading up is done, once the loading up is completed, it's going to publish your product. And then it's going to take you to the ad listing section. And here's where you're going to list the ads for your drop shipping product and your drop shipping marketplace. So I'm just gonna wait for this to load up and then let's get straight into the marketplace ad listing. Now in this ad listing section, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna choose whatever budget you know you have, whatever budget you wanna go with. And uh, once you've added those budgets, you're finally gonna publish the ad 
And once you're done with all of that, this is what your Facebook Marketplace dropshipping ad is going to look like. And if someone orders it, you're simply going to order it from CJ Dropshipping, send it to their place. And that is basically about it. So that is how you can do dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace in the easiest way. Thank you for watching till the end, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.